picture of the board of sanction McDonald in his stead. But that's the P's and Q's that we've dotted the I's and T's, and there's always something special about a heavyweight world title fight, Barry. Well, of course, with that anticipation that anything can happen with these big guys. Parker wants to close the gap as soon as he can, tied up by Fury, who will, of course, look to box on the back foot. Both men impressing in the way they've looked, composed and relaxed in the build-up. We're interested to see the Max McDonald on, on Fury early for holding, because he's going to have to do that a lot, where Parker's so strong and bullish, and he's going to have to tie him up when he gets him on the ropes. Fury's also going to have to remember and try and look for the counters when those rushes come from the Kiwi. Well, Parker's got to get on Fury early and make him feel his power. Take a little bit of confidence away from the young man with the, with the good legs. And Fury got to do that, establish that jab. And a good jab it was, and there he was with the encouraging comeback sign. He's trying to maul him here, Parker. From a, a nation who, of course, are familiar with the rock and roll. And here he is, the first of his type to win a heavyweight world title, creating his own bit of history. Can he hang on to it? Can he enhance it? Can he add to it? Good movement here from Fury so far. Excellent movement. Nate Parker miss, punishes him with a jab too. Just going to be a little bit busy with the jab though, Fury. Moving, he was frustrating Parker, not allowing him to, to mount any attacks, but he's not landing himself. He can't be lazy, can't be flicking it. Good there from Parker. Not really landing with much, but it, the left hook seems to be the punch he's looking for when he gets in close. Good clever there from Hugh Hugh. Good fast feet. Little spin when he was on the ropes. And with the slow feet of Park, I've seen him just sort of caught in, in no man's land, jump right on him straight away. And he's got to punish him for every single mistake or little gap that he creates, Fury. A smile. Maybe it's a sneer on the face of Parker. I'm sure he expected this. I'm sure he's trained for it. He's ever bad in the land of the big men. There's a... There's a a spectacular moment, there's fireworks, a, a big punch, just a moment away. He's just struggling to reach the target clean at the minute, Joseph Parker. Even there, left hook was, was blocked by the elbow of Fury and the right hand just on the on the shoulder. And Fury promised us we... Because of... He boxes someone like Fury who moves quite well. That jab, especially the jab, especially heavyweights, that jab, a lot of the medicals do it. They, they, they hit you on the shoulder, they just stop your movement. And I think that's what that's what Parker needs to do to Fury, he's a jab into the chest, stop that, mo that movement, and then hit him with that right hand. Good right hand there from Fury on the spin. Yeah, there was a, nearly a left hook back from Parker too. Fury's been grinding himself into shape up in the lakes where he's been doing old school training, chopping woods, a chopping wood, I should say, chopping logs and throwing tires, all sorts, he pounding the hills. He's not going to be able to stop moving, is he, though, for 12 rounds, Fury. Once he holds his feet, that's Parker's invitation to let his hands go. Yeah, he's, he's, been yeah, he's been training 50, 12 foot to 15 rounds, Barry, hasn't he? Different sparring partner every round. Tyson did it against Klitschko, so he, he, he knows it can be done. His eyes look wide and alert, Fury. Parker's trying to do as his corner were bidding him. He's, he's trying to lead with that jab to the chest, maybe just to, to, to set other things up, maybe just slow Fury down. Just needs a bigger step after the first jab with Joseph Parker. Just get a little bit closer to the target for the second most important jab. Parker out of range. Good jab there from Fury. And again, not putting much behind it, just kind of peppering no, yeah, away with right, it. Yeah, you know, and it was the same in the first round. You know, he wasn't 
wasn't much on the shots, but he was just peppering in the jabs. But at some point, Fury needs, you know, he don't want to hold his feet for too long. He needs to put some weight behind that right hand or that jab every now and again. Nice little feint from Fury, changing angles, switching one way and other. Who is it asking oh. the crowd? Every time there's a collision of flesh. Oh. Oh. No, more Parker was the one committing himself, but he was Fury was inches off that short right hand there from Parker. Couldn't quite spin him on his heels that time, Fury. The feet still fast enough, fast enough to make Parker fall a little bit short with the work. This is the sort of pace he wanted as well, was Huey Fury. Yeah, but it's already slowed down. Hey! All happy in the Fury corner. With the movement, the elusivity of their man. And let's not forget, in his, his 15 pro fight, he beat and he pretty much toyed with Andre Rodenko, who'd just yeah. come off a an encounter with Lucas Brown, when, which was give and take, yeah, course, and, yeah. and, and he, he had a, a good scrap with Povetkin just the other month. So it, it's the, the talent's always been there. It's right, so it. Stop the only it. cuffing shots there from, from Joseph Parker, but at least he's getting into, into range, and that's what he needs to. As long as he can get into range, he'll be, he'll be happy and let his hands go. And Huey's sitting on the back foot quite well, so he's even a, even a harder target to reach. With that left foot on a little bit, a little bit wide as well. It depends how the judges view. Oh. 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 Like exchanges like that. Like how, how do the judges view that? Because yeah. you know Parker's coming forward and, and the flesh scrapes together, but they're missing. Nothing much is really happening. And that's where the jab. The peppering of the jab is very important. Good right hands. Again, it's not a hurtful shot, but it's one of those like a slap in the face. Really, no, it's an annoying sort of spark. And a frustrating as well, frustrating for, for Parker. Parker missing wildly. He's not, really, he's not landing lots of his own. No, but I think for more important in the early rounds where Parker will be fresher, he's making him miss. And making and when you miss, that takes a little bit more out of you. He's gone the, the 12 rounds on three occasions, Parker so far. With that really good points win over Carlos Takar, who on the bar of the loss to Vivek and has been considered one of the sort of danger yeah, men. Sure in the division. There will be a point, there will be a time Parker will close the gap. He will be able to close the gap, he will be able to land at some point. Fury's so just got to keep this movement up, this variation of changing the direction all the time. Never sit, never sticking with the same pattern. And always flicking that jab out. And relying on the movement with a hand so low too. Well, he got a, a letter from Sir Alex Ferguson, would you believe, Fury, telling him to to play back in the 80s at the Olympics, 1984 it was. Here we go then into the fourth. Start picking up those feet, Parker. He needs a feint or something. He's trying. He is trying, Parker. He's got it. He's got plenty of, of supporters with him. Uh, the national anthem or anthems, I should say, were very well supported in the crowd tonight. But he's trying to double up the jab, and he's trying to hit the body to stop the stop the, uh, 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 the lateral movement of Fury. But the feet are not as, not as fast as his hands, and that's his problem. Oh, a lovely shot from 
askew. That was a cracker. Picked that uppercut beautifully. Fantastic. And again, that all comes from keep the variety, the, the changing, the back and forth, the going left, going right. And then Parker's not sure where to try, quite where to commit himself. He looks right across immediately to his corner after that, Parker, too. To be honest, as long as Fury can, so this is where Parker will be at the sharpest, you feel. So, as long as the Fury can keep this movement up, it's his fight. Defense good, that, that's going to show the roll and get the club back up on the ropes. He's, he's ticking all the boxes so far, and I think the game plan's working. Okay, break! What's your age? Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Again, Parker's trying to make the fight. Not loads of scoring shots from Fury, but just the odd eye-catching one. Well, that uppercut alone is, is, is the only stand-up punch of the round, isn't it? But the jabs as well, they just, they just pile up the punts. Yeah. Nice little left hook there from Parker. A little bit open-handed, but at least he's hitting the target. For the first time in a round and a half. Yeah, and I think I think that's it. You've just got to take your successes of your Parker, wherever they come. That jab to the body. Yeah, two good body shots there from Parker. A bit of blood. Oh, yep. Yeah. Clash heads, yeah. I think. There's a bit of blood. It must be coming from Fury. Just with his back at the minute, Fury. Wild swings from Parker. Cut the eye. On the nose, maybe. Boxing tremendously well. Sticking to the plan. Well, it, it, this stage, it looks more a nick, but... No, it's already trickling a bit of blood, actually. So let's just hope that doesn't figure in any way, because it's been a composed, disciplined start from Fury. It was and running down near the eye as well. That might cause a problem maybe just on the inside isn't it Barry and, you know another couple of rounds of this you, you fancy Parker become even more frustrated as oh, he right tries hand. to get a right hand through right, right, right. Yeah, he landed that right hand there Parker time out more encouraging signs for the New Zealand contingent There's a scuffing left hook there from Parker. Cheap shot, cheap shot. New Zealand corner getting a bit more animated. In the sense, the man maybe beginning to find a foothold in the fight. That's their best round so far, isn't it? Let's not forget, there's lots of missing. There's not all that many clean scoring punches here so far through five rounds. Just saying that Huey's not punching with the knuckle part of the glove, he's punching with the outside of the glove. Look good there from Parker. Actually, that, that right hand hit the arm of of Huey Fury. Oh, Another right hand nearly getting through. Well, I think it caught the tag as Huey, Huey just took, I think then he leans back on those loose ropes, I have to say, just taking the sting out of the shot. But it was a, it was a scoring punch. Parker's closing the gap. He's just beginning to let his hands go. But because Parker's struggling to reach the target, he's not turning his hands over. He's just taking a little bit of sting out of the shots. They're having a better round here, Joseph Parker. Well, nearly, Fury. I was just about to say, Barry, Fury's got to remember to just to, to be throwing enough counters back just to deter Parker, just to remind him if he's going to come forward, there might just be something waiting for him. 
course, you get a little bit more weight on the jab. It's, it's a good flicking jab, and it's keeping them at bay. But every now and again, just step behind it, commit yourself with it. And the work harder with the legs. To worry about the cut, that's nothing. I think if Team Parker came in here looking for the UK plan to be explosive and something of a statement, I, I think they'll settle now just for retaining the title, no matter how. Good fast hands there from Fury. And a tight little response there from Joseph Parker. So elusive though, Fury, isn't he? That how the judges are scoring those little skirmishes when Parker does manage to close the gap. Did he land a left hand there? Again, it's a little bit of cutting shot, it? just a little bit of a slap with the open glove. It's a fast jab, isn't it, from Fury, really fast. He's back on it now. Important that he does. But Parker's not able to sort of build up ahead of steam on the back of that better fifth round. Doesn't want to be there, Fury. Surprisingly, Parker lets him out. Well, he knows he's being set up for an, for an assault. Oh, beautiful shot. Fantastic uppercut there from Fury Fury. Twice he's landed that. And again. Oh, good right hand left took though back from Parker. Both having their successes in this sixth round. <laughs> Parker with it, with it, certainly the better record, punching record that is, with 18 stoppages and his 23 so far. Is, Again, on the end of the, the right hand, but some of it getting through. And a good finish of the round, isn't he, Parker? After Hughes better boxing, dominating the first half. And so the final 30 or so seconds then could still be up for grabs in the flurry. He has to remember to be busy, despite all the good work on the back foot, he's got to be busy enough too. She's got a rush in there, Joseph Parker. Didn't quite hit the tiger that one time. Didn't turn enough in the waist there, Fury. No, but the crowd were onto it. Right. There we go then, into the second half of the fight. Joseph Parker, the champion from New Zealand, making the second defence of this WBO title. Formerly in the possession of Vladimir Klitschko on three separate occasions and reigns, the last of which lasting a mighty seven years until a certain Tyson Fury came along two years ago and now his cousin on the cusp with the potential for some more family history tonight for the same belt that's better though from Parker rushing quicken in the feet though trying to rush Fury and let his hands go halfway Barry have you got it on the scorecards I've got Fury a few rounds up Box, four, I think box well, yeah, I think box really well. Even first four, last two to Parker. Crowd starting to get into it. Thankfully, the cut hasn't become an issue. He still looks strong in his legs, Huey. Huey Fury. The Parker is getting closer though. That's always a worry, but he's not letting his hands go. Here now, Packer should be throwing punches now. Oh, landed a right hand. Oh, is he? Is he unsteady? It just shouted from the, the Kiwi corner, he's hurt. Fury still looks alert. Lovely movement there from Fury. The 
Tiger has that sense that he only got to catch him with one. It looks like he feels he only got to catch him with one real clean shot. Yeah. One of the first times he was actually trapped in the corner, Fury. Maybe just the pace slowing Barry in the final minute of the seventh. Yeah. This is where Huey needs a couple of the biggest, bigger shots with the right hand or, or the uppercut. Well, he's, he's peppering with the jab and the scoring punches, but the standout shots from Parker might be enough to edge him the round. Good movement still. Still good legs off of Huey Fury. Still changing direction, still making it hard for Parker to, to walk him down. After that worrying moment over in the far corner, there's a, a degree of composure back in the work of Fury. And he almost caught him with the right hand too. Well, for his tempo right now. Obviously, it's, it's, it's always going to be a risk against a big guy like Packer. You know you're going to have to you know, take a few shots. And if the pace slows, in the second half of the fight, will that suit Fury? Well, I think you, all, you think that with a slower pace, it always, it always suits the technician, the better technical, better boxer. But he has chances to, to put well, the set of the attacks, put his work together. As long as he got, long as he got the energy in his legs, he'd be fine. But if Parker can close the gap, which he's slowly been starting to do as the rounds go on, then it becomes a more dangerous game. But Parker's okay closing the gap, but he got to let his hands go. And uh, the judges are seeing this one. A nice little right hand at the start of the round from Fury. Still, it's Parker though that coming forward, starting to swing a little more wildly now. Maybe taking the chips out of his pocket and just beginning to push them into the middle of the ring. Well, that's the gamble he needs to take because he's behind now at the halfway stage. So he needs, or oh, past the halfway stage. So he needs to take that gamble. He needs to force and panic, make Fury panic if he can. Trying to set it up with a jab, Parker. How much is this chasing, trying to manoeuvre? You're following Fury round the ring. How well, much is yeah. it taken out of him? Yeah, of course. Well, it's not so much like following him. It's every time he changes direction. That, that's the that's the frustrating part for Parker because he has to. If he's going to support the mount and attack, and Fury changes direction, you got to re you got to reset yourself and go again. Parker's not cutting the ring off, he's, he's following me around. He's not allowing Huey to get all the way around the ring, but he should be edging a little bit closer every time with the, with the foot. A little half steps. I suppose also, though, Barry, I mean, judges are supposed to take into account the, the weight of a punch and the, the authority of it, etc., etc. You know, if Huey's kind of flicking away with a jab, he's making a miss, Parker's not landing. Maybe these are close rounds. But Fury's winning them, he's not dominating the rounds, but he's winning them, because he's, uh, for the most part, he's only going to land in any scoring punches. Not, not throughout the fight, but for the, the majority of the rounds. And there's a jab on the chest from Parker, he had that sort of excited, energetic flurry at the start of the round. So even, though, even though Fury caught Parker there, that's what Parker wants. They should get in a gunfight, in a slinging match. That's where Parker's got an opportunity to land the bigger shots. Oh, just missed with the uppercut again, Fury, that's been... Perhaps the punch of the night so far for him. I think Parker's got to take that gamble soon. Feet just tangling. And there's a few moments where Parker's looking back across to his corner for advice. And I wouldn't say he's dispirited. I wouldn't say he's lost out there. Is he losing out there? Up, up, and even put the right hand. Still there, look, back foot, touch, touch, bang. 
Get a bit more busy with this. Yeah. You, you'll get the rounds away otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Deep breaths. That, that's kind of the point I'm making, Barry. He's, he's saying that the jab's fine. You've got to be busier with that right hand. You've got to make sure. I mean, that's, that's all. You've got to make sure. So again, a little flurry, straight punches. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's clear the room. And then you do, but I, I, think, he, I think he's doing enough to win the rounds. That's for sure. Second up, round nine. No panic. I think they, I think they might just have a break because a bit of the uh, the tape needs tightened up. And Fury's right glove, the, the very glove that his father and coach was asking him to get busier with. As we head into the ninth, we're, we're pressing on, folks. I wonder how. The Parker team, where they thought they'd be at this point of the contest. Oh, he nearly got through with that right hand and the left hook as well there from yeah. Parker. He's buying a ticket. Parker, I don't think he caught it with the full force. Step away. No, Fury's got a, a, a natural ability just to take the, the, the sting out of the shot. But it, Good enough scoring punch there from Parker. And he's fainting Parker for the first time. Maybe he's just starting to think about what he's doing again. Genuine concern among the Fury fans on the far side. Oh, That's yeah, better. Fantastic footwork there from Fury. And just a little smear from, from that cut again, which hasn't been an issue for the last few rounds. Just needed a little bit more weight, didn't he, on the right hand? Fury, when he, he spun him lovely and just needed a little bit more weight. Just a reminder, Barry, that the threat's always there from Parker. Unless the gamble he has to take now, Pat, you've got to rush him. Constantly rush him now. Good from Fury. Is he taking a few more chances? Is that a good idea or no? Cold cheering every time he lets his hands go, but those, that last combination never landed, but that certainly did. Good response from Fury after that big, excited flurry from Parker. And that landed Ooh. on the glove. Ooh, that might have sneaked through. Yeah, good, good right hand there from Parker. And he's trying to rough him up, Parker. Took it well, though, Fury, but it was a good shot from Parker. The first one never hit, the second one was a good shot. And certainly that cut has opened up again from Fury. And it's appeared as though Far Parker's made an impression in this round. Oh, he most definitely have. But to be fair, Fury's taken it well and he stayed relatively composed as well, which is which is a good sign. There's when he has to get back. That, that was the he tried with the right hand. Those yeah. are the moments he's got to counter punch, Fury. This is where the slower feet just been letting Parker down in this fight. But all the telling punches have, have really come from, from Joseph Parker in this round. Nothing okay, landing there in that skirmish. Good defence from Fury, but the damage maybe has been done earlier in the round. Activation. Uh, the finishing line is in sight. Was the encouragement in the Fury corner, but and still, maybe he's got to go and win this contest from here on in. Guys, you've got to feel that he is three rounds from being heavyweight champion of the world. Parker might feel on the back of that ninth that he's about to come on strong. Nice jab. So fast, isn't it, for a big fella? So fast. I think that's been the trouble. The, the, the fast fit, feet, the change direction, and that fast jab have been all the things that have just been offsetting Parker's work. We've got two corners, two sets of fans who want exactly the opposite thing. Yeah. Fury follows just one no drama. Uh, as many jabs as you can possibly land, and the Parker team, they want something explosive. Well, you have to play to your strengths, and that's what Fury, Fury does play to your strength the footwork, the fast hands. Oh, lovely 
shot. I think he might have been off balance and turned around, but still scoring shots from Fury. Lovely work and balance from him. And again, he caught that big right hand on the gloves, Barry. That he's, he's cushioned those shots well from Parker. He, he, might, he might appear to the judges that they're scoring, though. <laughs> Good shot there though from Parker. Who's it again, has? Again, it's not quite landing fully connected, but it's still you know, grazing the target. But you can see the frustration, can you, in Joseph Parker's face. He just can't pin his man down. But all his strength and power he wants to unleash on him, he just can't pin him down. And actually the, the shots that have land, landed by throughout, single shots here and there, Fury's taking them well. Well he has, yeah. Well, I think he's got a natural ability to just arrive, take the sting out the shot. Just hang on again, you just, if Fury could just put a little bit more weight, especially in that, in that right hand, it would just rubber stamp on how dominant he is in some of these ones. Uh, three punch combination, finishing with a little left hook to the body from Fury, who's back on track, it seems, in this round. If he were to win this fight now, you would feel it, which he's on his way to doing, you would feel it's the footwork that's won the fight, that's obvious. And for Parker... Is it's close, and who knows how the judges have got it. Barry, how have you got it? I got I got Huey three points up. Right. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised how the judges are, are seeing this. He's a classic come-forward fighter who's missing and not landing much, and a back foot boxer's making him miss, countering occasionally with... with some shots, but not necessarily with real authority. You no, could I, see I, it either way. I can understand what they're saying. I just have a Richie saying with you know, the, the weight of the shots with Parker, with Fury, sorry, there's nothing behind the shots. So where do you deem it being a scoring punch? But all the eye-catching shots, you know, those uppercuts which Fury just threw another one there, have all come from the Manchester man. Oh, that's that's up for the body there from Parker. But again, good movement throughout that, in and out of range from Fury. I just think the footwork has left Parker down, he hasn't been able to close the target quick enough. Like, you know, he's got to let his hands go, no, Parker. Oh, nice little short shot again, that's been the punch for Fury all night. It's been so elusive. Really not sure how many punches Parker's landed at all over the sort of 11 and a half rounds so far. Good jab there again from Fury. Maybe it's a bit like Golovkin Canelo all over again. <laughs> oh, good from Parker though. Fury trying to be a little bit too cute. Parker landed with the right hand left hook. Again, it's not on the chest, not on the chin, but it's not the scoring target. Yeah, she cuts, can you see that there with Parker, open hand and glove, but he's, so str he's struggling so much to, re to reach, to get close enough to land, and he's having to overextend, and he can't turn his gloves over to, to, to fully connect, to get that power to make Fury hold his feet. And you must, you must kind of, Get a bit uptight, but very physically and, and mentally when, when that's the, course, the yeah. case. Massively frustrating. Chasing the guy who won't stand still. Well, there's no doubt about Fury's fitness and you know that food intolerance, skin condition that blighted him and it effectively weakened his body for all that time. Yeah. Clearly an issue. Good right need hand. to be strong. Good right hand there from Parker. And that's the difference. See, with all these rounds and none of what's happened. It, a big shot from Parker could switch it in his favour. Still Parker moves forward. Parker is going to let it all hang out. But he's away from home. I, know, I think it's been a frustrating night for Parker. He's got it. I think he's got to go for it. Me. Oh, well, that's how I see it. Of course, you know. Oh, a big right hand there from Fury. One from Parker gets through. 
That's the first time he's hit him with a full flush punch. Fury didn't blink. He's back in back foot mode. Parker whacking him on the shins almost. I think Fury caught his head on the cameraman in, I think. Well, he took that big right hand, he, he had his own success and then Parker got through and that's the, probably Parker's best shot of the fight. There's certainly no problem with Parker's fitness too, let's make no, that right. point. He's still got to fully commit himself to the, for the, ring, the second half of this round though, no, Parker. Got to cement his rounds. Get him in it for my on my card to get him a near close. It's not going to be enough on my card. Oh, a shot again. Both getting through there up close in that skirmish. The Parker shot was the bigger was the bigger right hand. Well, they're almost losing their voice next to us in the the Kiwi corner is Parker. And this is wildly with an overhand right. They have shouted themselves hoarse, imploring Parker down the stretch to put it in, and he has tried. No Parker's rushing him. A little bit more urgency. Kiwi needs to get that uppercut in the play. Oh, lovely uppercut there from Fury too. I think the might have been a low blow from Parker, but they go on inside the final minute of this one. For me, he's 40 seconds away from being the champion of the world. Fury. Oh. TBC. To be confirmed. Who knows? Maybe to be continued to. Fury gets through with a shot, but Parker shoves him off using his strength. He's got 30 seconds to hold on to his title. He's looking to dip down with that left hook there, Parker. Just haven't been able to find that, that, that one big shot of he just to stop the movement of Fury. Fans on their feet now. And chanting Fury, imploring him or willing him over the line. And still Parker forces himself forward. As the final battle is a majority decision in favour of our winner. And still, wow. WBO heavyweight wow. champion of the world, White from South Auckland, New Zealand. We have a, another Joseph seemingly Parker. close.